for real, how would you summarize how uh, this uh, first training camp in Atlanta went for you? It's been great. It's been a little hot, hotter than I'm used to, because everywhere I didn't play there, it's been mostly cold, except for California, but it's been hot and fun. What's life like at running back? It's fun, man. You know, I'm a guy that just like to come out here and have fun and play football. And it's something I've been doing my whole life, you know, and it's a kid's game. You know, it's fun to me. So each day I come out here, I'm just having fun, enjoying the moment. Uh, yeah, Correll, we, we talked you um, they, uh, talked about running the ball a little, whole lot last year, but look, you know, looks like um, that's going to be the case this year. Uh, you know, how, what's your mindset heading into this season, change of scenery, a uh, new type of assignment? My, my mindset is just do whatever coach needs me to do. If you want me playing running back, quarterback, tight end, kick return, punt return, whatever. I'm just out there you know, to help this team win, and that's something I, you know, whatever coach needs me to do, I'm going to do it. How much of a uh, running back load do you think you can take? Uh, <laughs> man, we got one of the best running backs, in my opinion, in the league is Mike Davis, man. And see the things he did last year, man, running the ball, you know, catching the ball. And, you know, whenever Mike need a break or anything, man, I'm right behind him. You know, we got Q and Keith and all the other running backs. So, man, and, you know, whatever load we need to take, I'm going to take it. You know? Whatever coach put me in, my number's being called, I'm going to be ready. Chris, what excites you most about this team? I would say this, a new coach. The whole, you know, new coach is always a different vibe for players, you know, trying to get used to the coach, you know, because none of us probably, you know, been coached by him before. Maybe a lot of guys who came from Tennessee or whatnot. But, you know, it's with Arthur's brains, man, he – he got he got that it, you know, and a lot of guys out here, we want to play for him, you know, and he bring that juice every day, you know, he's fired up and, you know, what guy don't want to play for a coach like Art? So, you know, we come out here with a mindset, you know, his first year, we're going to try to make it our best year. You say he has that it and he brings it, like, what is it about him that's different from others and, like, that makes you kind of gravitate towards him? It's just different, man. It's, it, you, you got to be out there, you know, um, getting coached from Art and to really understand that it, you know, he... You don't care who you are. You don't care if you got driving the first round, you're a 14-year player, five-year player, your third round pick. You know, he, he don't care who you is. He's gonna treat everybody the same. You know, he wants people to compete. You know, and that's what I like most about him. He, he wants you to compete for your job. You know, it ain't nothing given. You know, you come out here working each and every day, you know, and what you put in is what you get. Michael, do you feel like at this point you're fully acclimated to being a running back? Or is there so far you that it's like Man, like, I remember, all right, I remember I just want to go around. Like, is there, like, how did that go mentally for you? It's been fun. It's been a process. You know, um, you know, running back, I feel like it's one of the hardest things to do out there besides quarterback. You know, you, you got to know a lot, protection, routes, running the ball. But, man, I, I got great coaches, man, and Coach Kitchens, you know, he's he's been treating me well each and every morning, man. We meet, you know, just trying to, just trying to learn this offense, man, because, like I said, it is different to me. You know, each and every year I feel like I'm doing something different. I've been on a lot of teams, you know, a lot of different offensive coordinators each and every year. So, you know, just, just trying to stay focused in, man. And, you know, it's fun. Being a running back is fun. Just being on the field is fun, man. You know? I think you said kind of being used differently after wherever you're here. Do you think that that's – anything has affected your career? I'm just here to play football, to be honest. As simple as that. I'm here to help this team, do whatever I can to help them win games, like I say, no matter if it's a running back, receiver, kick return, you know, I'm just out here to play football. With kick return, do you anticipate, do you, I guess first you still want to do that this way in your career? <laughs> you know I'm going to be out there. That's, come on now, you, you see my resume, so there's no ifs, ands, or buts. I would be out there. Well, I guess that because there are some players who once they get to, you know, you're six, seven, eight, they're like, I really don't want to mess with that anymore. Like, I have a role, but I was always never felt like that here because it was what you – Honestly, man, I've been playing special teams my whole career, and that's probably one of the reasons I'm still in the NFL. You know, you got to find something you're really good at, you know, and I know I'm real good at it. You know, I'm going to just I'm gonna continue to do it until the coach don't want me to do it no more. At that point, I'm just keep doing what I do. Yeah, so can you um, talk to us about how this offense is coming together? This first time we're going to see it, it's going to be on the 12th. Because uh, everybody ain't been playing. So. I mean, you don't have to wait to September 12th to see that, you know. Madden too, but. Madden's different than real life. This is real life out here, man. I know. So how's it coming together? You'll see September 12th. All right, here they go. Um, Emily. Really quick, what are your impressions of you? I know he's a younger guy, but <laughs> I feel like you guys haven't talked and feel and it's kind of a good person, but um, you taking him under your wing, are you helping him out at all? 
That's, that's my little brother, man. Ever since I got here, you know, man, Q been hanging out. And Q, one of the smartest running backs I've ever been a part of, you know, if not one of the smartest players. He, he pick up on things real quick, and he, he noticed offense in and out. You know, he just, he's always doing everything right. He's just, he's just that smart guy. All right. Appreciate you,